Okay, folks, I want to get this out there while it's fresh. Um, Revolutions just put out a, uh, a great video uh, showing that um, this fake alien invasion could possibly start happening. And the reason why I felt this was just perfect timing is because, um, if you know, a while back I had put something out about, uh, about barium and strontium and their association to holography, okay? And if you remember, the, uh, the Army did a research program, and I'm going to post that link inside this video. Uh, but basically, it was, um, you know, I'll just go ahead and get over to it real quick. Let's go ahead and find that. Okay. You can find this yourself if you like. Um, so I guess their new logo means Google censorship. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so barium, strontium, and then we're going to type in holograms, and then site, and any site that contains a dot mil. And if you notice, the first thing that comes up is this one right here. And you can get to the uh, PDF right here, but look what it says. An innovative technique for generating a three-dimensional holographic display using strontium barium niobate is discussed. The resultant image is a hologram that can be viewed in real time over a wide perspective or field of view. That means outside. The holographic image is free from system-induced aberrations and has a uniform high quality um, over the entire field of view. The enhanced image quality results from using a phase conjugate read beam, blue beam I guess, generated from a second uh, photo refractive crystal acting as a double pumped phase conjugate mirror. Okay, whatever that means. Uh, multiple three-dimensional images, um, multiple three-dimensional images have been stored in the crystal via wavelength multiplexing. So that means if they want to show you a whole fleet of UFOs in the sky from their blue beam, they can do it. So one thing, let me just go ahead and get you over to um, um, the rest of this here real quick. Hold on. Okay, now we saw Dutch Sense a while back put out something he had found on the uh, on Wikipedia about how radioactive uh, um, situations like we have in Japan decay into barium and strontium. We've also seen a couple of states, I believe, in the United States recently report barium in the water. And, um, you know, this is not just a toxic substance to humans, okay, but this barium and strontium can be used, especially now that we've got this, these plumes flowing all over the world, there will be no problem at all showing, um, you know, these uh, fake alien invasions. So let's take a look right here what I found. Fukushima fallout intended for use in NWO, uh, New World Order Holographic. And I knew this was going to come out. Uh, this came out on 3.30, 2011. It's about the same time I was thinking about it. Uh, the small rabbit hole was the result of a great reader uh, to our blog who stumbled upon these bits of information and gave them to publish. Don't know what his name or what country he's from, but he, he hit this one smack on the head. Either that or that one are the biggest coincidence in the world. Remember, we read they needed a one world global religion and were intending to use holographic technology to give everyone their supreme being who will tell all to come together in one religion. Now. Also, I want you to remember those Jordan Metal books that came out not too long ago, okay? Remember the timing of them. Those books came out, and they were trying to sell them, and guess who grabbed onto those things and, uh, and made sure that they got back and they were going to decipher them for us, but they turned out to be fakes. So, and they were putting that portrait of what they called Jesus in there that looked like a lion. And if you remember, I tied the lion uh, to the Galactic Federation, possibly. So, what we're seeing here, folks, is a buildup, okay? We're seeing a buildup of this alien invasion. Also, I want you to remember, too, if you look in recent news in the past, you'll find that the Vatican uh, last year at first came out and said that it's okay if people believe in aliens. So they kind of built it up. After a while, then they came out with news that said that, um, that they welcome aliens. As a matter of fact, if they come here, they'd be happy to baptize them. So basically, they're getting people to, the, to realize, okay, there's aliens. It's okay to believe in aliens now. So now that they put that uh, seed in everybody's head, now they're building it up to, um, to something where people will actually believe that if they say there's an alien invasion, it's going to happen. So the fallout that we have right now is all based on uh, the barium and strontium in this holographic display. So 
yes, I put a lot of pieces together just then, and it could be something else, you're right, but um, it, it just seems to me like a lot of this stuff is kind of falling into place. So I'm going to post the link to this. I'm going to post the link also uh, to that uh, site where you can take a look at the uh, research manual that they publish for everyone to see themselves on the holographic display. And um, you know, I hope this helps everybody. I'm, let's see if I can find something else for you. I'll put it out here.